Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play the Dark mod. In the previous episode, we continued with Chronicles of Skullduggery 3, Sacricide. We are discovering that many of the leaders within the city of Santaletta are mustache-twirling evildoers, laughing at the poor, and seeking to increase their influence in the town at the cost of those lives. The mayor's house was pretty thoroughly explored. We looted quite a bit out of it, and we got a safety deposit box key, which we'll be able to use in the bank if we ever manage to find the key to get us into that one room in the bank. We also got the key to the safety deposit box for the bishop after assassinating him within the cathedral. We found his secret room, top secret room that he talked a whole lot about in his journals <laughs> and killed him there with an arrow in the head. Hopefully, this will cause the raven to no longer seek us out to kill us. It also sounded like the bishop had some sort of strange change of personality to me, judging from the text he had written earlier, unless he was embellishing on what actually got him the services of the Raven. We've also discovered that, well not discovered that, we've discovered the entrance into possibly the catacombs within the graveyard of this cathedral, and we're about to step down there and see our first undead, I think. Let's go ahead and get into the mission. All right, everyone. Before we step down there, a few things. First, when I began this series, I mentioned that I was going to do less talking than normal for a Let's Play of mine. I think that's been accurate, However, I've been doing much more talking than I thought I would as I'm playing through this Dark Mod Thief series. I would like to keep it atmospheric in certain situations where I feel it would be appropriate. This strikes me as being one of those moments. We have not yet encountered any undead in the Dark Mod, and I am anticipating encountering some down here. We have read several notes saying that there are undead guardians down here. The bishop mentioned in his journal that he was going to have to hire someone who would be interested in combating these forces and then having them arrested afterwards for trespassing if he wanted to send someone down here. And none of his... He couldn't order anyone else to go down here because they would be too afraid. And he himself is too frail and afraid to go down here as well. So I will not be doing any talking while we are down in the catacombs in order to keep it atmospheric. Next... We know that there are two torches somewhere down here that we need to light in order to have the golden statue of Saint Santa Letta move, allowing us access to the reliquary or the places down below the catacombs, which will have the traps and guardians in it. We don't have any fire arrows, so the only thing I can think of that we could use to light this would be this strange wand. Slow match. So we'll take this with us as we head on down here. All right. With all that said, let's get going.
That's disappointing. Uh, there's no torches. There's some skulls on some very creepy statues that are flanking the statue, but we cannot reach it. The gate is in the way. I see no way to lower the gate. I don't remember reading anything about lowering that gate either. Is there a hint written here, perhaps? Bury not your head when dirt is poured on you. Bury not your heart when the chance looks dim. For the master builder does watch thee and give thee ordeals of his tasks. No, that sounds like just a saying. Okay, so I don't know what to do to access that area. We'll come back to it, I suppose. I guess we're going to be doing some talking after all. Hmm. There must be some sort of... Wasn't there something about the hallways, Tim? And a switch in them? That you read in the bishop's journal? We might have to go back to his room to remember or to read that again. Or I might pause recording to go and take a peek. I suppose while we're out here, we'll explore a little more of the city instead. No, I'd like to do the cathedral now. Unfortunately, we shut the bishop's door automatic like so we're gonna to have to reopen it if I want to access it and read that journal again or I could just watch my the end of my last let's play everyone I'll be back the levers are supposedly in the hallways but it the book made it sound that those hallways are in the catacombs. So I just wasn't looking well enough, I suppose. We will make another attempt at this. I wanted to keep my first encounter with the undead a surprise to myself as well as to you guys, so I have not practiced this. Though, to be honest, I haven't practiced any of this Conquest Skull Duggery 3 except for the first part. Everything else has been blind.
Alright, everyone. I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna go look this up, and I'll be back. Alright, everyone. As quick and as uh, spoiler-free as I possibly could find the information, there are levers in some of these burial chambers. We just need to find them. So I will talk with you guys while we attempt to do so. Once I find one, then I will go back on silent again. I had done a little bit of looking with you guys earlier, thinking, okay, maybe there is a lever or switch or some treasure hidden back here. But I totally did not see anything. But I was looking in the corners for the most part. I did not try, like, moving any objects, so I thought I've already tried moving every one in these places so far. Alright, everyone. Let's be quiet again.
I thought maybe I can bring a candle down there and use slow match to light it. Slow match is definitely used in some fashion downstairs, but I don't know how to use it. So I'll be back again, everyone. Okay. Supposedly, there are some braziers here I'm supposed to light. But I don't see them here. And slow match is supposed to light them. The only thing I can think of are the torches, but it's totally not working on them. Okay, I'm gonna guess that this quest is also bugged. Uh, that's a shame. So, I'll be back. I'm gonna scour the... I'll have to read spoilers, unfortunately, everyone. This is already kind of ruined. But uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to go just look up some information about maybe what, what's occurred. There's a strange blackness here, too, right? Maybe that's supposed to be the Braziers? But the game didn't spawn them? So we can't do anything? I think that's what I think that's probably what happened. So I might be able to do the no clip command to sink down to the ground or something to get the item that Santa Leta statue has. Let me double check really quick. Okay, everyone, I'm using no clip. Uh, we just don't have any braziers. I cannot light it. It's bugged. So we're gonna go in here. Oh. I'm not even allowed to access this. Oh. Okay, so there's nothing in here that I seem to be able to take. So I can't no-clip through everything to grab an item that, that I would need to complete the quest. It's just not going to work. Alright, so be it. Okay, well, then we're not going to help the priest after all. We're just going to loot everything from here. And get out of here, since slow match isn't working and there's no braziers here for us to light. Yeah, I suspect the Braziers are supposed to be whatever that strange... Looks like a small window is that's showing up here. Oh, well. There's no update for this either when I went and checked, so... Oh, well. Since we can't complete that objective, uh, that, that's such a shame. That kind of, the map's so well done, and only to have another, uh, unless, am I doing something wrong? I don't think I am. I think I had everything I needed, it's just the game didn't, 
It's not letting me do whatever I'm supposed to do with slow match in that room. And that's a shame, because now I don't really care about the other quests either. I just want to complete, complete this and move on to a different one. We can't get into the deposit room either. So I don't know if these keys are useful. Maybe the game never spawned that key either. So this map might have several, several problems. All right. So we've assassinated who we need to assassinate. We just now need the cash. So what are we what are we up to? 4500 loot. So we need another about 500 loot somewhere. We've searched the mayor's house pretty thoroughly. Back at the bank. Maybe one of these keys will let me into the room. Letter to Bishop Fonte. Your Excellence, my deepest gratitude for your help in dealing with our little problem. Your man does amazing work. Let him know that if he is ever in the capital, he is welcome to any of the girls out of our establishment, and to just let you know he is your man. As your as for your decisive service to us, along with this letter, you shall find a token of our appreciation. I will also see to it that several barrels of the finest wines in the capital has to offer find their way to your palace. B. Okay, with that done, we only have to, I believe, drop off that one, this note to our fence friend. Oops. 
trying to access the objective screen is not very easy to do in this game. Recover, no, that's optional. Escape, oh, I guess we're done. I thought we had to drop that note off to someone. Oh, okay, so we just need the, we just needed that paper. We don't actually have to drop it off anywhere. So we're, now we're just heading back to the sewer system and that's it. So there's a sewer entrance. Out there. All right, let's check our mission statistics. Damage dealt 106. What did we? Oh, the rats. The rats, I guess, do, do take a lot. They take a lot of damage from arrows. I, oh, we also stuck three arrows to the bishop to kill him too. Okay, sand pickpockets. We found we found only half the loot. There must have been quite a bit left in other locations. Knocked that. Uh, killed seven enemies. That would be five rats. Six rats and the bishop. We knocked out two guards only. We had two sightings and four searches. Our stealth score was 24. Not bad. Only seen for a total of 11 seconds. A shame. A real shame. This is the second... This is the second Chronicles game now where there's... I really... The first one had an absolute bug in it, right? The switch would not re push back the bookshelf which soured me at the ending of that one but the rest of the map was fantastic this one was also fantastic only the an optional quest this time around didn't didn't let me proceed and i just lost all interest in doing anything else in, in the map all other optional quest optional objectives once that happened because they might be broken too all right so let's not be too soured on that so that's uh was a really good, really good map. I really like these Chronicle missions. They're rather long, lots of places for you to go in, lots of secrets, and lots of treasure to be had if you really want to find all of it. My goodness, I thought we scoured most of the city and we found only half the loot. I wonder how much of it's behind the secret challenges that you would need that one key to acquire. Well, we didn't search that one plaza right there at the very end on the other side of the bank with that... Uh, big light slash well in the center. There might have been a few other places we could have entered and explored there. Ah, but still, success. Good go us. All right, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one, where I think we're going to be doing The Accountant 2. So I'll see you then. Take care, everyone.